YouTube, my name is WyattForIva.com and uh, this will be a review of a uh, Intel Compute Stick. It will not be unboxing since I already unboxed the device, I connected it to my LCD and it crashed. Then I've put everything back and uh, I did another unboxing and then somebody gave me a call and I've put everything back so this is my probably last time I'm trying to uh, <laughs> do the review of this stick because this is just uh, well taking too much of my time. So this is Intel Compute Stick. Um, sorry for moving the camera. Yes, this is going well. Okay, this is model STCK obviously stick. 1A 32 WFC. So 32 should probably be gigabytes. WFC, maybe Wi-Fi connection, I don't know. What do we have in here? We have a security notch, Meh. micro SD slot card, this is probably the card for the storage, USB 2.0 port, now since everything is 3.0 this is uh, well, not something to be bragging about. Um, Quad-core Intel CPU, uh, Windows 8.1 with Bing, um, something you'll probably never use, even if you're American. 32 gigs of storage, that's an SD card. 2 gigs of memory, well since iPhones now have 2 gigs of memory, nothing to brag about as well. Wi-Fi, there's an asterisk. What does that mean? Wi-Fi not included. Oh well. And Bluetooth and McAfee, and this is also something you'll probably never use. Also, power adapter and uh, HDMI extension cable, so obviously two things uh, that you have to have in order to use the device. How else are you going to use it without um, power do, power adapter? Okay, let's open it. This is quite nifty. And what we have, this is uh, the stick. I will be connecting it to uh, my uh, HDMI extender. As I've said, I already connected it to, uh, to my LCD and as I said, the first time it just crashed. It crashed big time. It was blue screen of death when I did the unboxing. So kudos to Microsoft for making awesome operating system. And this is a USB. I will be connecting my super cheap keyboard. And this is something I bought off of eBay. And uh, I know it's shitty, but uh, unfortunately, I do not have a better one for uh, for for testing this. So. What else do we have inside? We have, uh, well, basically nothing. Uh, I already did connect to this European one, but uh, uh, you can just press here and uh, you can uh, connect the American one, which kind of disappeared at the moment, but since I'm not in the, uh, here it is. Since I'm not in the United States, uh, I don't care. So this is the uh, American one. So, as they say, third time is the charm. And uh, let's connect this thing to a uh, power supply and uh, try to boot it for the third time. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, I really need to buy a better stand because this one is, uh, well, shitey. So, uh, okay. Intel Compute Stick, and by the way, I think this is actually a rather lame name, Compute Stick, seriously. I'm gonna come up with something better, I don't know, like anything. So, let's see whether this will work or not. I'll probably need to move the camera a bit further away from the LCD because um, this is 27 inch Dell and it is quite a large screen, so okay and as you can see uh, boot time is actually rather slow uh, also in this stick uh, there is a 32, 32 gigabyte SD card Samsung Evo which uh, is not the fastest there is in the market but mediocre it is so it's not that bad okay now we wait for this little thing to boot I suppose for a TV it's not uh, 
is not that bad a device. Okay, so is my stick working? No, why not? It seems that my batteries have ran up. Okay, seriously. Yes, my batteries have uh, run out and uh, this is... Uh, focus, focus, please focus. Seriously. Okay, focus, okay, it focused. Okay, now let's... <sighs> no batteries, maybe I'll just... Let's see, it. okay, it might work now. I think that, okay, it is working now. So uh, we'll choose English and I'll choose keyboard layout Croatian since I am in Croatia. See. Croatian. Okay, and uh, I will choose next. Now let's see what will I get. Okay, now it is. Do you agree to Microsoft Botnet? Well, don't mind if I do. Okay, just a second. Um, Okay, this stand is Hama brand and I think it's the shittiest brand on the planet, but unfortunately I do not have a better one. Okay, so PC name I. I. I need to focus. And uh, PC name Mech. I went.com Of course you cannot use dot. Well, fun times. Okay, iVlight.com, why not? It should be iVlight.com, but hey, iVlight.com is also okay. Skip this step, underscore Vlad. Because Microsoft uh, use Express Settings is something that you probably do not want to use, but hey. And uh, I'm sorry for this. Um, here, username. Okay, I will be. It will be Vlad. And next, and finalizing your settings. So we'll see how long it will take to boot um, once uh, once everything is set up. Okay. There are certain things for us, so now you can get new apps, also your privacy neglected, you can get an offer to update to Windows 10, and if you do hear this background noise, I am sorry for that, this is uh, my washing machine, which is something that I am waiting for it to explode because it's old and it makes all kinds of noises and even though it's two rooms away from me you can still hear it perfectly but it's nice to terrorize neighbors if you turn it on let's say after midnight it kind of jumps around you know like in that song jump up jump up and get down so this is what my washing machine does and uh, okay this USB stick is actually Okay, let's start. I wanted to say slow, but uh, well, it is slow. Okay, let's see. First of all, let's see if all of the drivers are installed. They should be. Okay, uh, I do hate this Windows without start menu. Classic shell is something that should probably be installed by default. Okay, to be honest, this is actually working quite well. I am surprised. <laughs> and in the right corner you get Windows 8.1 with Bing. Well, that's nice. That's something I uh, I didn't need to know. And okay, so it's 32-bit operating system. And uh, let's see. I'm an idiot. That was not something I wanted to start here. Start Task Manager and uh, performance and uh, change graph to logical units 
so it's nice it has four 1.32 gigahertz cores and to be honest this is working uh, rather nice nicely um, okay let's connect to my Wi-Fi blast connect automatically no even though it does not mean anything And enter, no, and uh, let's test how well it does with YouTube, for example. Okay, um, this should be connected. Zotube, okay, so obviously. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm able to open the page. And why is this thing not connected to my Wi-Fi? Connection is limited. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's try connecting it to my Game Boy. <sighs> Connect it. Oh, fuck off. Again, let's enter password. Press enter. Again, no. Verifying and connecting. So, okay. So, it should work. Right now, Bing.com, yes, something never to use again, now I will not be sure, ah, see, okay Adele, that's not actually that bad, let's see how well it works in HD, and this is, a, I have a 20 megabit internet, so it should be rather faster than this. And okay, I do not have a flash installed and I do have an Internet Explorer without whatever. Now since I do not have speakers connected, there might not be any sound. Okay, fucking advertisements. Let's see it in full screen. Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Okay, you are watching. YouTube in full screen. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. So anyway, this is a, this is a small demonstration. Uh, I will not be showing you video due to copyright. And one thing, one last thing I'll try to do is to shut down and then just turn it on just to see how well it works. Now this is uh, started off of SD card, so this is actually working quite well, I suppose. Okay, it is off. I think it is off. Yeah, it's off. So let's use that magic power button that they advertised. Whoa, where's the button? Okay. Click. It's on. Okay, let's see. How much time does it take to boot up? Okay, Intel Compute Stick. Booting. Okay, so it's not obviously it's booting from SSD, but this is uh, this is quite uh, impressive for something that is uh, well for this device, I suppose. I mean, this will be probably used for I don't know, home, I don't know, TV or something like that, and this is actually uh, quite nice. So there you have it. I do hope you liked this video. If you did, you can always subscribe. If you didn't, you can well click that dislike button. Again, apology apologies for uh, making this video so long. It's 15 minutes long, and uh, it was not my intention. But hey, it took me some time to explain, and uh, I hope you like this video. So see you in the next one. My name is Vlad, and cheers.